Okay, I got the part today. Now this is supposed to fit in my set. Alright. All right, I had to get a new camera here because um, I lost the driver from the other one and I had to reinstall it. So that one's still sitting up there. It's useless now. In any event, um, I have the new part. Right there. And now I'm going to take the old one. I've already removed the rectifier tube and the two shafts that go here. Now I'm going to pull the whole transformer. Okay. I've removed the old fly. Um, I'm going to turn the lead here. You can see that or not. That's the connector for the bell. I'm going to reattach that on the new one. Here's the old part. And you can see why. First of all, I could swear I could hear the thing arcing internally. Second of all, you know, this thing's still covered in dust. Um, you look at the secondary one in here, let me throw this in the light, my cord will reach. Right. If you look at the uh, transformer here, the secondary is covered in two-part epoxy because the original cover broke off and then the wire came loose. I reattached it and then covered it in glue hoping that it wasn't damaged but I think it was so I'm going to replace it now and hope that it works. Okay, let me show you something that I find useful First of all, these screws here don't have a notch in them. Okay. They're about a quarter inch long and they're in kind of a cramped corner, so it makes them kind of difficult to put in. So we have two here. Let's see. There's the fly. Two bolts. That hold it in place. Kind of hard to get to. So something I find useful in a situation like this, even though there's no notch for a screwdriver, and mind you, I can put one in there. It's not too hard either. But one of the things I find useful is wax. Right here. Right here I have wax. The red and yellow stuff is actually from Baby Bell Cheese. And the brown here is from printed circuit boards, you know, radios and stuff. Scraped it off. 
I melt it down with a glue pot. And I just dump it in there. And whenever I need to hold something or get a screw into a tricky spot, just put a little bit on the screwdriver. And it works wonders. Okay. The new fly is in place now. Completely rigged up. The tube is back in. The anode's in the bell. Uh, we're ready to fire it up. Um, I gotta go find a cord that I can plug into it. And then I gotta flip it over. This thing takes a while to heat up though because I got a filament resistor out of tolerance. More specifically, that one right there, it's a thermistor, and I had problems uh, with the filament lines, it was a short, something like that, um, it was getting so hot that it was starting to uh, torch almost. The solder melted out of the little pins on the bottom. So it's still good, or it still works, but it's out of tolerance. Alright. Got a cord here. Now let me just point out a couple things though. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to replace my yoke too. The is all warped. Now this set has 16 tubes in it, uh, three of which are under the chassis, along with the tuner. These three in the corner, those are the IF. They're new. Now those, those are new tubes. The video amp, there's that one over there. Right here. That's new. Uh, 